get a lot of calls at Innovative, uh, people asking us, how do we resurface a bowling ball, or how do we change surface on a bowling ball? The trend seems to be that more and more home use customers are buying ball spinners because they know that you can get a, a really good advantage on a bowling lane if you have the correct surface on the bowling ball. You know, to get good ball reaction today, we need an excellent quality ball fit, and then we need excellent ball reaction. So, well, the way we do that is we use uh, different surface adjustments on a bowling ball. We like to use the Aberlon pads. We also use sandpaper. You can use uh, 3M Scotch-Brite pads. So today I'm going to show you an example of how to resurface or surface a bowling ball using the Aberlon pads. So you can buy these kits from Innovative. They come with six pads to a kit. They start at 180 grit, then they go to 360, 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000. The higher the number, the smoother the finish. So just remember that. So if I'm going to resurface this bowling ball, I'm going to start with the 180 grit. I'm going to turn the ball spinner on, and I want it on low speed. Low speed helps to cut. So I just put the Avalon pad on there. Nice even pressure all the way around. Bring it back up. It takes a few moments. That's what's nice about the cabinet mount is it keeps your clothes nice and clean. So we turn that off. We'll spin it over. We'll do the other side. Now this is cutting nice deep grooves inside the ball. It's taking out any track marks or any any uh, damage from the lane or the machines may have put in the ball, this is how you get them out. You use the 180 grit. Now, if you stopped with this surface on your bowling ball, this would be an ideal surface for somebody who has a real ton of ball speed and doesn't have a lot of revs, or if you're bowling on a lane that is just soaked full of oil. This will give the, this is like getting a, a tire on a car with a lot of tread so that it'll dig down into the oil and grip the lane. So you can see the lines on the ball there. So it did a pretty good job with that. Now I'm going to turn the ball so that way the lines are running this way and I'll go to my 360 grit. So that's the next grit size up. It's not quite as, uh, as uh, aggressive as the last grit. So now I'm cutting against that green. All right, this would be for a lane that would be, again, heavily oiled or somebody with a high ball speed. This would be a good good surface to finish with for that person. Somebody that can't get the ball to hook at all. This is what you want to do. You know, we have that happen in our pro shops a lot. People come in and they'll say, oh, you know, Harry over here had a bowling ball drilled and he was doing nothing but throwing strikes with it, and I want that ball for myself, but they don't understand, they don't roll the ball like Harry does. So, if you want to sell them that same ball that Harry has, you know, Harry might have a lot of shine on his ball, you might have to doll it up for Henry, or you know, whatever, whoever the person is, so that way they get a consistent result. So you can see I took all those cut lines out, now they're spinning this way, turn the ball over, and then we go this way with it. That's the nice thing about the tub mount. All the dirt's contained inside the tub. Keeps your clothes nice and clean. It just takes a few seconds. Just bring it up and down a little bit. Nice and easy. Okay. Now, we'll spin the ball this way. And we'll go to 500 grit. So we put that on there. 500 grit is where I get, I, I very rarely use finish with uh, 360 and 180 for customers, unless their ball speed totally dominates their rev rate. But I will use a lot of 500s. 500 is good for a very heavily oiled lane. Uh, Pro Anvil Lane is a hard surface texture wise, and if you're using the Brunswick oils, which are super slick, and you got somebody that ball speed slightly dominates rev rate, I'll use 500 on a lot of their bowling balls on that surface. Okay. Turn it around and go to the other side. Turn 
the ball perpendicular again. We'll go with 1,000 grit. We use a lot of 1,000 grit on regional lane conditions where this will start, you'll start to see the ball smoothing out now. It's not as aggressive. So we use a lot of 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000 on, on regional lane conditions. What that does is it, it makes the hook phase slightly longer so it gives the player more control. I like to talk about the power control spectrum. If you're bowling on house conditions where the shot's fairly easy, the lane itself is giving you all the control you need. So we'll use a lot of polish on those conditions because everybody can hit the pocket pretty regular. So we want as much power as we can get. When you get on the more demanding tougher lane conditions, then we get into more surface because what it does is it gives us more control. We don't have as much room for error, so we really need to control those shots that are less than perfect. So we don't roll the ball perfectly. We don't want to throw a split or have a washout. We still want to hit the pocket. So that's why a lot of bowling balls for your regional players will be 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000 Averlon. And you have to experiment based on what your style of play is, what is the ball made out of, and where are you bowling? I mean, obviously, if you're bowling second shift in a bowling center, you're going to have less surface or a higher number Averlon pad than if you're bowling on a first shift heavily oiled lane condition. Also, the player's style. Somebody rolls the ball hard with not a lot of reps, they'll tend to go with more surface or a lower number Avalon pad. Somebody that rolls it a little bit slower, then we'll get into the higher number Avalon pads or even into some of the compounds and polishes.